What's up? Keith, two guys how to. I'm out shoveling snow, getting the last little little bit here on Super Bowl Sunday. And uh, I started shoveling the porch and uh, you can see down there, I shoveled everything off. And I just want to do a quick video on uh, why you should make your railing on your porch at a certain height, uh, it, especially if you're in a snowy environment. And uh, it makes it a hell of a lot easier to, to shovel. You can see it's on the cars and on this new Volkswagen that we just brought back from South Carolina. And I uh, wanted to show you guys how to make your, if you're making a deck or a railing and you're undecisive on what kind of railing you should make, it uh, really depends on what kind of climate you live in. If you live in a snowy uh, climate, uh, you want to make the railing raised up a little bit. You can see right here, I got about six inches off the ground. A little higher would have been even better if you get a lot of snowfall. And I'll show you why. I went ahead and I cleaned, I cleaned this area right here already. If I can get you guys situated here. You can see where I cleaned this whole area right here. I went ahead and just, you get the snow right underneath the railing like that. And eventually it gets high. You can see how high it is on this side. This railing was a little bit higher. If you got kids or you got balls or something like that, like little bouncy balls, you don't want them going through. You can keep it lower, but all that's minor and not even important as it is to get that snow off that porch. So the higher down here, the better, the more snow we can get underneath of it. And I'll show you real quick on this side. I started shoveling. I said, you know what? I keep telling myself I'm gonna show the people this. And I, I actually learned it from somebody and uh, I just took the words of wisdom and, and applied it to my own, my own deck. So, uh, like this snow is wet, it's heavy. Sometimes we'll get it, it'll be a couple feet. So, uh, today's easy. If you go down through here, you got that opening on the bottom, like that. Just put that snow right underneath of it. And you can go out a little further. So if we just keep running down this deck, if it would have been all the way down to the bottom, the snow, you'd have to pick it up like this, and it's heavy. You'd have to throw it over, over and over and over like that. And that, that gets old. So I'll show you real quick. We'll do a quick one-two skidoo, and I'll get this off of here. With the quickness, keep going. Once you get it underneath the bottom there, take your mouth like this, clear it up. Get that snow right underneath that railing set. I set it about six inches high. That way that snow can just go right underneath. Quick and easy. And uh, the only thing is if it gets piled up on the outside, this deck is maybe about two, two and a half feet off the ground. The snow accumulation, if you keep getting snow over and over and over, but it's fine. Like I said, you can take the shovel through here and keep pushing that down further and further on the other side and eventually it will all just reside and go away. And it's probably gonna rain a little bit later and freeze up, but I'm hoping the rain will, will just melt everything off. And I'll show you this last little bit right here. And you can see how hard it is right there because I didn't do under the chairs the other day. So you wanna stay up on it. If you don't stay up on it, you're gonna end up with the ice like that layers and layers of that, this is gonna kill your deck. It's just gonna ruin the deck. I'm gonna let that stuff melt out. But I'll get the loose stuff that I can get right now. Just right up underneath that, that six inch gap under the rail there. Makes quick, quick work of it. And boom. That's the ball game, as Billy would say. And uh, when you're making that deck and you're, you're going back and forth on what height on that railing to, you want it to touch the ground, you want your pillars, your little pickets to come up off of there, I would say no. If you're in a hot environment, go for it. You don't have salt. I mean, you don't have snow, you don't have salt. You don't have things you're applying. You don't have to scrape anything off that porch. But if you're in a wintry environment, we're in Maryland, uh, if you're further north, Connecticut, New York, upstate New York, you definitely, you want to make that bottom railing, the bottom part of the railing, at least at six inches. 
I would say that's 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 minimum. This is probably about five, four and a half to five. But if you're getting heavy snow like this, and you need to really kind of get under it, you're gonna have to scrape the top layer and then try to get at least most of it. But if you stay up on it and you don't let it to get to that height, you know, 15, 18, 20 inch, you stay up on it, you keep getting it under there, eventually it'll melt out there and it'll make quick work cleaning off that deck or patio. So make that bottom railing up at least six to eight inches and uh, get the snow off the porch easier. And hopefully this helps you. The guy who told me, it helped me. And every year it's the same thing when we get snow. It makes my life so much easier. So Keith, two guys how to, like us, subscribe, love us, whatever you want to do. And uh, hopefully this helps you make your snowing uh, shoveling days easier and saves on that back. I'm out. Get some of it. Save that money. I'm not a pig. I'm a lawyer.